All right, today we're going to assemble our stage two cylinder head that's going to go on our stage two stroker engine build. Um, basically, we'll go through the parts on it. What we start with is a brand new casting. Um, these ca are actually casted for us in Spain. Um, it's been ported, our stage two porting, uh, both intake and exhaust. The exhaust ports are polished. We use our bronze valve guides. It uses our swirl polished stainless steel valves, dual valve spring with a chromoly 4130 chromoly retainer. It uses our hardened keepers, and we use a Viton valve stem seal. So what we'll do now is we'll go through and we'll uh, we're just going to measure everything up, get our installed our spring installed height set correctly, which we do um, actually by placing different size thickness uh, shims underneath the springs which will go in here. So as the spring goes on and we can actually adjust our installed height by, uh, by adjusting the spring thickness or the, the shim thickness. So that's what we'll do first. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just verify. This is a valve tip height gauge that we use. And we'll just go through and make sure uh, this has already been done once in the machining process, but we'll just verify that everything is correct before we uh, get too far into our assembly. Okay, everything checks out good there. The next thing we do is we measure our installed height. We'll take a valve spring retainer and actually set up the locks with it. So as you can see, I just I kept adjusting and adding shims until I achieved the, the installed height that we're shooting for to get the spring pressure correct for what we're uh, for the application that we're that we're going to use this engine for. And we'll do this both intake and then when I go to the exhaust side, we'll do the same thing and set up our installed height. So now that we know where our shims will be. Use a little bit of assembly lube just to ease the, the seals on. And I very carefully put the stem through there so I don't rip the seal. What I do is just tap them. Just to make sure the valve locks take a set. That's one side is assembled.
Okay, now that that is done, the next thing we will do is install our cam. Okay, now we're getting ready to set our cam in. A couple of important things, um, obviously to uh, put a little assembly loop on that, and then also where the distributor goes on that the, the hole where the distributor shaft goes through. You don't want that to start up dry, so we always put a little bit of assembly lube on here. Obviously, all of our parts have been washed thoroughly. Set the cam in. Make sure your numbers are going forward. Just get them snug and I'll roll the cam over a few times. Make sure everything's spinning free. Our torque wrench should be set. 14 foot pounds. Torque the cam down. Make sure it still spins free. These is we'll put some anti seize on a on an older spark plug and we'll run it in and out of the spark plug holes. It's also a good idea when you put new spark plugs in an engine to make sure you put anti-seize on them, especially when they go into an aluminum head like this one is. And that is more or less the end of our assembly on the cylinder head. Now it's ready to go on into the engine room.